We have an update on two of the three different blockchains that handle SafeMoon with their liquidity pairs. It looks to be have been added back. So of these, we're gonna start with that of Binance. And as Danology points out earlier today, the BNB liquidity pool has been added. Now waiting for Polygon and Ethereum chains. That was posted a little bit after midnight on the West Coast. And we see that the liquidity identifies there as $5.38 million. Then we have a post later in the day. This just coming out a little bit ago as of the time of me recording. This is from SafeMoon Spidey. He says, SafeMoon LP update. Matic, aka Polygon, LP is seeded. And as we can see here on the order book, it shows a history of things being added in. Let's go ahead and hop over to the price charts. For SafeMoon on the Binance Smart Chain side, we do see that on the day, it's a little bit red. $37,000 in trading volume, $20,000 on the buy side versus $16,000 on the sell. I'll be doing an overall price update for both SafeMoon. A couple hours later, this will be different. How much different? We'll have to wait and see. But I'll also be talking about the general crypto market and the SafeMoon Swap partners. So I recommend you guys go check out that video if you want to see what the latest is going on across the board there. I've been doing that on the daily lately. So for this one in particular, we can see that as a result of the liquidity being added back in, we haven't seen much price change actually being affected from trades. As was noted by Danology, I believe it was, yesterday in my previous video, it was specified that adding the liquidity back would not necessarily have an impact on the actual price, just from the liquidity itself. Now we hop over to SafeMoon for the Polygon side. This is on the day chart. So yes, there is a massive red candle that happened, but that was not today, that was several days ago. However, on the new day formation, we do see a further decline. So this one down 3,000, uh, sorry, down 3.74%. It's $1,500 in trading volume. So not a lot of money that's involved there. 739 on the buy side, 793 on the sell. Pretty much neutral. Crypto is overall taking a hit more today. And we're seeing this down on the overall day. But we can see that there's a lot in this in this uh, order book down here that shows the ads of that liquidity. So all we have left right now is the Ethereum side and everything should be good to go moving forward. I believe many people are suspecting that once the Ethereum side has been added, we could then shortly afterwards see the reveal, the launch of the bridging side. There was an application that was sent in for the apps. Uh, I believe it was about a week ago now. And normally those things only take about a day or two to be approved. But with everything that's happening with the liquidity here, if you're gonna be adding in bridging mechanics, I think it's pretty safe to say you wanna go ahead and add in the liquidity back before you release those features. So my suspicion is, I haven't seen confirmations on this. At this point in time, they probably have things approved and ready to launch. They're just waiting to have the liquidity so that everything can be more properly handled. Now there is a little bit of side news I want to talk about with one of the Safe and Swap partners. This is with Blockbusters Tech. This is very big good news. They're adding in the support for staking. We've seen this before for Mirror Protocol. Now we're talking about it over on the Blockbuster Tech side. As you guys may or may not be aware, Blockbuster Tech reflects out in a variety of other cryptocurrencies. And how does it work with the staking here? In this post, they have a quick little rundown on it, but to summarize it up for you, when you stake, there's nothing of a fee, There, sorry, there is no fee if you decide that you want to stake or unstake. However, if you want to compound or if you want to do that claim, then that is going to be a 3% fee. And the token that you're earning is BBTF. 
So there's the latest updates on SafeMoon as well as a big announcement with one of the major SafeMoon swap partners. I'll keep you guys updated on things. And also thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Oz for being those higher level patrons. Also thank you to my YouTube members for your support. I hope you're all having a great day. If you want to learn how to pay for your real world bills using cryptocurrency, as I've talked about this in the past before, feel free to go check out Spritz Finance. I have a video link down in the description below where I walk you guys through it. It's fast, it's easy, it's convenient. You can use a variety of different cryptocurrencies. And if you use my referral, you can get a nice little bonus for one of your future bill payments. That's what I got for you guys today. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I hope you're doing really well. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.